your girl Maria and this is Why Am I Reacting. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you. Before we get started, please like, comment, share, subscribe, any or all, preferably all, I hope that you will. Um, and please make sure you do that for the artist as well. Um, go to their page, like, comment, share, subscribe there, help them grow their channel. It gives me more to react to and it's a win-win. Uh, in the description box below, I will link ways for you to show love and support to me and also to the artist. Um, so that will be in the box below. That being said, Dimash, we have another request. I love Dimash. I think he is an amazing performer, um, a, a, a genius storyteller. And like you could tell he feels what he sings. And I, from the very first song, um, have absolutely loved hearing his music because he has such a unique sound. Um, but, but it's also the other qualities that make him a great artist. So that being said, we're going to listen to El Amor en Ti, uh, from, he sang this at a concert and the love in you is basically what that song means. Um, subtitles should be on. We'll see if it actually works. But I don't want to waste any time. Let's get right into it. I love the cape. that he's singing in right now it's like every time I hear him sing a song and he sings the higher registers or the lower registers and stuff it's so interesting to see how he makes it sound so effortless because I feel like some artists when they're trying to like really do something new they struggle a little bit with it he doesn't he's just very like consistent in his performance and his voice is always consistent whatever he's singing he does it and makes it look makes it look effortless and it's just beautiful to, to listen to let's keep going okay. This song is like, it really sounds like it's dark, but it's not. Um, you know, when, when he's talking about, you know, the, the way he, he loves and the way that, you know, his mind feels tormented in some occasions and in other occasions, it's like 
I can't be without you. It sounds like it's a dark song, but it really isn't. It's it, at least not to me. I, I'm not translating it that way, but you know, it's just like right here. He says at this, that at the same time, there is light, joy, and peace in the souls, endlessly, endlessly kindness. You know, that's just, it seems like it's a dark place, but it really isn't. And I don't know. Let's, uh, let's keep going. So I'll go back a little bit, but um, the the I, I'm starting to see what it is that he's doing here. He has like the whole black getup to make it sound like it's tormenting. So yeah, it's like it sounds like it's torment, but it really isn't. And, and so then we have him coming up in the white outfit, and yeah, I love how this is being done. I really do. Let's keep going. red guy represent <laughs> I don't know who the red one the red version of him represents uh, I got the, the black version and the white version but now we got a red version let me keep listening here I love how they look larger than life in the, on the stage. I have to say, I just love what happened there. Did y'all hear what just happened there? He went from singing all of these like very like lovely operatic sounds, and now he just came out into the middle of the stage. All the other three characters are like larger than life on these big pantallas, the, the, the screens, right? And then they come. He comes out in the middle, and it's just a little one. <laughs> it's him, and and he starts singing like it's a. Like, it's kind of like a rock pop type of song, and it, it sounds good. Like, every way that he's singing the song is so versatile that he just, it, he exudes like this, just an outpouring of different styles. It's, I just love listening to him. I really do. He's so entertaining. Original is this idea. 
Michael Jackson right now. Like I'm looking at his getup and I didn't think I put it together initially because I didn't really see his feet, but he has like the glittery socks going on on his feet and it it's just giving me like this Billy Jean vibe and he's kind of like doing that with the hand and so was he doing a homage or a tribute to Michael Jackson in this concert as where where's that performance that would be interesting to see yeah like right there he has the black shoes with like the glittery socks black pants the sparkly like shirt that's kind of it's giving me like michael jackson vibes hold on let's keep going very curious was this something that was like a, a tribute to um like Michael Jackson at some point in during this performance uh, or during this concert because it certainly feels like that's what he was portraying on the stage I mean I just got that vibe like he was kind of the, he, he had a very Michael Jackson-esque look to him and I could be wrong I probably am I wouldn't be surprised right but I won't admit to it but <laughs> but I mean I just I really get that vibe so I'm very interested because it does the 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 concert it's not one that I've seen this is the first one I think I've seen from this concert but he sounded so good but now I have this other curious question looming in my head let me know in the comments um, okay, so that's going to do it for this one. If you like the content, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and you're all, preferably all. I hope that you will, and I will see you on the next one. So live your life fabulously.